Hi, good afternoon. This is Jan Attard, and we are here today to talk about money and empowering you with your money and your life and your happiness and everything that goes to it. So the name of my firm is called J. Oliver Maxwell. We are so happy you're here today. Uh, we are talking about tunnel vision approach to financial success. It does work. If you love yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, we're going to pull it all together and I'm going to help you. Uh, and we are going to work our way till to, to financial independence. So uh, any questions you have along the way, please drop them down and just send me a, a note. Um, and I'm more than happy to help you. This uh, video series that I put on regularly on YouTube um, is free, doesn't cost you a dime. So uh, come on board and get empowered. If you do want further information, you can connect with me uh, about money management strategies. But for right now, let's just work together, love on each other, and help each other create a, a better and stable financial future. Um, any glitches, please let me know along the way, and I'm more than happy to um, help you with that. So, uh, number two, Jan Attard, that's me. How will I empower you? Well, it's based upon all my clients and how I've helped them along the way, um, and I'm going to share that with you. So, the first success story is for Preston. He used to call me Excelsior. We not only saved enough for his wife to get that, that wonderful beetle bug that she wanted, but everything else that they wanted. And that was over years of dedication to saving, dedication to doing the right thing with both their financial portfolio, their house, paying down their house, um, just learning a little bit about life, working together as a couple, saving money, cooking at home. Um, and then eventually, because of what they did, being able to travel and enjoy life more. So bravo to them. And uh, that was a really, and that is a very, very, very wonderful story of, of, I don't work with people for one time, I do it for a lifetime. So if you meet, meet me and you get to know me, I'm going to care and I'm going to hang on and help you long term to gain financial security. Um, so what is important to you? Um, very different for each one of us. For me, um, it's all about safety, security, family. I know as I get older, uh, mental and physical health is crucial. Financial stability comes with all of that. Knowing how to eat right, sleep right, get education. I am an education fiend. And then uh, spatter that, as you say, healthy dose of enjoying yourself, enjoying your family, being able to take vacations, and just loving on this life that is very, very short. So you share with me what you love. Um, so starting with the importance of saving. When my grandparents, both sets, came over from Europe, my mother's parents came from Scotland. My dad's parents came from um, Germany. They were both savers. Um, my dad's family, my grandfather went to Yale and loved education. My mom's family, small business owners in the flower business outside of New York City and Jersey, um, and just bought properties, bought properties in Jersey and Maine, and built a business. And so all those little things helped. So you build the business, and you build your real estate assets, and you build your portfolio, and sooner or later, you're just meeting people and getting to know people and uh, creating this strategy of building your wealth tree. That's what I ask of all of you. Don't just, you know, think that saving one penny is going to do it. It is a strategy of savings and investing that's going to make the difference. So uh, we need to be able to do that. So what is our mission at J. Oliver Maxwell? Well, we're going to provide unwavering support and guidance and empowerment to you and your family. We help you and your family achieve lifetimes of happiness and personal success. We help you visualize your financial independence and we mentor your lifestyle, putting your interests first, whether it's just meeting online, 
coming to my office locally in the Bay Area or going to my farm where I have a small vineyard and walking the vineyard as we talk about you and what you want out of your future. Everything evolves over time as you build your roadmap and your financial independence. So I don't ask you to make huge changes, but what I do ask of you is Define for yourself the importance of investing. Why do you want this? Why now? Why you? Why your family? Is your wife or husband on board with doing the exact same thing? Can you stop spending enough to make a difference for you and your family? And how are you going to achieve that? Is that going to be a simple thing or is that going to be difficult? Um, Even if it's difficult, bridge that gap, open those doors and make a difference and make it happen for yourself because it's really important and you'll see change and that change will be exciting and invigorating, really, it is. So my core values, J. Oliver Maxwell's core values, I am a fiduciary. What does that mean? Uh, That means confidentiality comes first. Your risk tolerance comes first. It's not about me. It's about you. So we build a confident alliance between the two of us where we collaborate. We create a team of lots of people who have lots of enthusiasm. And a team of financial professionals is not built just about me. It's your tax accountant. It's your attorney. It's me. It's everyone building out that. A trusted portfolio that makes a difference. It's your realtor. It's location. Where do you want to be for you and your family to get educated? How are you getting educated each and every day? Uh, that makes this all work and that pulls this all together. Um, that really makes a difference. So our services are based on family wealth management and family investment advisory and family retirement planning um, and estate planning. This isn't just for this generation. Uh, This is for lifetimes so that they look back and they, oh my gosh, they built a business, they built a portfolio, they got this real estate and look at how it's grown. Um, Back when we bought our first house, when my kids, before my children were born, we bought a property for 300,000. Now it's, you know, worth way more than that. So it's it's growing investments over time and managing risk that really makes the difference. Um, yeah, and so how do we manifest change? Well, isn't that the most amazing thing? Um, manifestation, look at that word. How do, what does that mean? So it just means the creativity to make a difference in your life and look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? We got this. We can do this. We're going to make it happen. We're going to get that house. We're going to invest what we have and save the difference. If we don't have it, we're going to create it. And it doesn't start with negative. It starts with positive. So get quiet in your mind and in your body. Wake up every day. Look at yourself in the mirror. And define for yourself what you want and what you wish to be. That manifestation is a daily thing, okay? So make sure you ask for things daily, Put write them down, do a visual, post them. And sooner or later, you're going to come back to me and say, oh my gosh, Jan, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. It happened. Um, it is truly remarkable how quickly things happen um, and how much you will change. So where is your money today will be very different from where your money is three and five years from now. I can promise you that. If you come and you work with me, we will see this change dramatically. And you'll stand up a little taller. Uh, You'll have more to show. And believe it or not, you'll be more powerful in the way you present yourself. And I can, I definitely promise you that. Living your dreams is important, whatever they are. If today you say, Jan, I have met the most remarkable person, please slow down. Make sure you have a conversation with them about money. Uh, Live your dreams, but dream sensibly. And um, because financial literacy is a big, important part of avoidance of financial mistakes and planning. So 
no matter how extravagant you want your celebrations to be, make sure that they're realistic within your goals and expectations so that you can build lifetimes together and not just today. So discuss your money between the two of you. So let's talk about a success story. And the first one we're going to discuss is my dear, dear, dear clients, the Smiths. They came to me with a clear goal to secure their financial future for themselves and for their family. They wanted to maximize savings and investments. So I saw as the greatest challenges, their limited savings, their fear of market volatility, and their need to balance things that they wanted with their need to plan for retirement. So what did I do? I created a financial plan based upon asset mark and the living balance sheet uh, and created a financial strategy, which was built upon saying to them, you know what? You need to cut back in going to the restaurants. You need to really think about how can we cook at home? How can we have less and gain more? Um, and it became sort of like a game for us. And that's what we did. We built upon this game and the strategy um, to just really love on ourselves. And it actually worked. So that was a good thing. Um, then once I created the strategy and we implemented dollar cost averaging, I demanded that each paycheck, they give up some of it. And then even though they didn't have that much, they created other avenues to create that little bit of money. So once we created on so much a month, whether it was 200 a month, 300 a month, 1,000, whatever it is, um, they built that into their budget and they made it work. Um, as far as savings for their children, we established accounts which were tax advantaged, which helped create a monthly strategy of contribution so that once their children grew up, we wouldn't have to worry about that. We started immediately planning for retirement, whether that was the pension account, the 403B account, or other accounts so that they didn't just wake up one day and have nothing. They, they were working on it from the start. Our results came quick and fast to increase savings for everyone the educational fund that was growing, the retirement security that started happening. And so the feedback ensued that they said working with J. Oliver Maxwell has been life-changing for their family. Their personalization approach and expert guidance, meaning us, given them peace of mind and a clear path to achieving financial goals Therefore, we are now confident about our children's future and our retirement. We couldn't with happen. We couldn't have happened it or done it without their support. What a wonderful thing for them to say about us and made us really, really feel fabulous about, you know, working with them and, and gaining them the security that they needed to go forward. So start with your why. Um, the journey of change starts with you. It's not an overnight thing. Commit to today. Your words manifest this change. And allow yourself slowly and securely to build on this. So I would write it down. I would put it a couple places. I would say it in front of the mirror in the morning. Um, I would become, meaning you, an instrument of change. Start creating an emergency fund. And you'll see once you start growing it, you'll see how important it is for you. And the benefits of saving early and regularly will be felt and seen. Visualize it, say it, draw it, live it deliberately each and every day, which is really important. Go back to that Preston's Excelsior, and I worked with them, and it wasn't easy, but we created goals and we managed risk all along the way. So what I want to say with all this discussion of money, um, I started out as a baby nurse. And so for me, wealth wasn't money. Wealth was a brand new life. Wealth was a newborn baby. Wealth was someone loving me. Wealth was family, being able to hug somebody at night and say, oh my gosh, 
just how lucky I am. So enjoy that first. Um, it's going to be good to have money, but don't throw away the things that are important to you because they're as or more important. Um, mentor your body and your mind and your soul. Keep that connection forever. Um, you know, and we'll talk about that because that is so, so important. Be grateful and have humility for everything that you manifest in this life. Another client of mine, a nurse, um, and she got out of nursing school and was determined to dream and travel and everything. But we committed to $200 a month. And by 35, she had enough for a down payment on a dream home. So her key strategies were consistency to save, to budget, to avoid unnecessary expenses. Um, I want to stop here and say I focus equally on anyone who wants to do this, whether you have, you know, 100000 in the bank already and you need advanced strategies, I can meet you there. If you're just starting out, I can also meet you there. So wherever you wish to start creating and building, I can step up to the plate and help you. Uh, and we're not going to get specific. Um, in different countries, it's very interesting. You go to Sweden and they have a baby and they take a year off. They love to travel. They love family and enjoying themselves. I mean, we do here in the United States, but wealth is so important here in the United States. So choose what it is that you want carefully and deliberately. If you do sign on with me, we're going to create an investment portfolio to balance growth and safety. We're going to implement dollar cost stra strategies to minim minimize volatility. Um, we're going to help you open and manage your retirement accounts, including your IRA accounts and your employer sponsored plans. Um, I think working with different money managers is very important to optimize your retirement strategies and diversify all of your risk, which is so important. Again, back to the baby, which has always been my world. Don't just focus on the almighty dollar. Focus on your family. So at this point, I'm going to dare you. I'm going to dare you to try. And that's not me. <laughs> it's you. It's all about you. And you're going to have to heal your financial health. And when you do that, you're going to heal your mind, body, and soul. Uh, I want you to become financially stable to reduce your stress and anxiety. Improving your financial health leads to overall well-being in your life. Please take care of yourself. Take care of everything around you, your family, your health, everything that makes you, you. Um, it's important looking at these graphs of the S&P 500 or a one month T-bill, you know, what it all comes down to is we're going to strategize whether it's location and the house you live in or a portfolio. We're going to build strategies and try as hard as we can to be safe, but it starts from you. So painting a picture of your perfect life. Um, and Keep it as unencumbered as you possibly can. So I commit to helping. Um, the video at the very top, which comes from Asset Mark, I'm not going to share it. If you want to meet with me further, we can do that. It's all about sophisticated strategies of looking at your assets and dividing them up into asset classes and places that make a difference for you based upon your risk tolerance. We're not ready to go there yet, so I will not go there yet. I'll wait for you. Uh, so commit to financial independence, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, my disclaimers, everything involves risk. The choices are yours. We are very confidential. J. Oliver Maxwell is honored to provide you this video. So I will share this on YouTube, and you can watch it as many times as you want. You can connect with me. We are located in Northern California. I am willing to Zoom you, um, do any kind of meeting, meet you. Uh, at the end of the day, I care about you. So thank you very much and have a very, very lovely day. We're under 20 minutes and that's just the way I wanted it. Thank you so much.